I've always seen femininity as a trait assigned at birth that has nothing to do with your gender. You're either born with it or you're not. Maybe this is just because being born a man I've always lacked toxic masculinity or even basic traditional masculinity. This is probably thanks to my dad. I've just found I owned a lot more feminine traits than the other boys when I was younger. So coming out as gay at 14 surprised absolutely no one. And that's probably where I began to lose this sense of closure I had over my sexuality. I met this new uncomfortable and cold feeling of a lack of self everything. And it just forced me to question why I felt like this and to ask myself the question, who was I? And actually consider my gender, which I hadn't done for years. I think the first time I became aware of my gender was when I was about eight. I got this brown woolly plat hat and I kept it on for probably about three months. I'm not really sure, it's still a bit of a blurred old memory, but I know I used to pretend these plaits were my real hair. And I think I really just longed for hair like all my friends that were girls. Maybe like a year or so after, my mum sat me down and asked me nicely if I wanted to be a girl. I don't think that until then, I knew anything about trans people, especially not in 2013. So I think quite confidently I just said no. This like almost core memory is always on my mind because I always end up thinking about how my life would be if I had said yes. I didn't really know what I wanted and really I still don't transition wise. But on my 18th birthday, I'd been having these really severe gender identity crises like almost every night. And I think that was when I really started to accept that other boys didn't have this same ache to express femininity in life like I did. And you know, back then I saw masculinity and femininity as two separate things, but really they're a part of the same thing. They're just broad terms to condition people into our society. And I think now I'm exploring this new unknown world of femininity because I never got to experience it. But then I never got to experience masculinity either because I've always seen masculinity as this dense and heavily toxic thing when really it can be so beautiful and so vulnerable. I think growing my hair longer and finding makeup and wearing different clothes has definitely made me more comfortable with who I am. But I just see so much importance in remembering these past experiences because they're a constant reminder that I was never a boy and I never will be.